the beginnings of the armature for my next stateless motor and what it is is two six inch wooden craft discs and these craft rods that I bought a long time ago I have tons of them and there may be a little less than an eighth of an inch in diameter and as you can see I made a kind of jig and clamps and I used a uh, can of cranberry sauce to hold it square and I drilled three holes which I measured so I have the center and that's going to be the axle that coming out right there right there that's going to be the axle and it's on the other side too so that's what I've got for now so I have to wait for the glue to dry for 24 hours and then I'm gonna try to put at one end at this end perhaps um, I'm gonna wrap a little wire around that and glue it on and make a little hook on the top and the other end I'm gonna try and maybe use a pencil sharpener to make that a point and that's just gonna touch the bottom of one of these hoops that I have and um, I'm going to make a little receptacle that, that will go in, maybe made out of metal. And it doesn't have to fit perfectly because it's going to wobble a lot. But it, it should be a lot smoother. The idea of the axle model is to make it smoother, more like a real motor. And that's where I am so far. So here is the motor. Um... It's got the guts in it. It's got an Arduino and the circuit board I made with a MOSFET, a MOSFET over here and a transistor over here. Uh, that's actually not a transistor, that's a uh, infrared receiver. It's got an N20 motor and a bunch of magnets and a 9 volt battery. So let's see if we can't get that to start going. That has to be started slowly. And you can see it's still got a lot of wobble. And I don't think we're going to get this up to full speed. But it spins kind of nice. <laughs> 